Since the diagnosis of <coughs> a horrible disease, uh, the end is nigh. And I, I can accept that. Having had oh, nearly 70 years of, of climbing, In 1946, I, I was 10 years old and my dad thought that we needed adventure. And so he says, right, Colin, it's, you'll do your first climb this weekend. And of course, in those days, there wasn't many climbers about. And we came here, of course, deserted, nobody about. And uh, he chose that outside edge route. <coughs> and I thought, oh, that was good, that was good. And then I think he chose this one. And uh, I did those climbs and thought, my God, this is the bee's knees. This is the bee's knees, and I was 10. I can see why right now kids used to say, but sir, there's no holes. <laughs> you must have heard that a thousand times. Where do I put my feet? It's fabulous. And I have to read the rock in a very different way now. I have to make sure I don't step too high, which means less effort on my legs. I gave it everything. And when I say everything, it, came, it became more important than any other career or any <coughs> academic uh, um, achievement. Yeah, it, be it just became the sole occupation of my mind and soul and it, it, I was all encompassing and that's how it's been and one might say that's very narrow Colin that's but yeah it is a bit narrow um, because there are other things in life but fortunately I married a woman who fell for it as well and <laughs> and so it was it was really a, a 70 year love affair with the mountains. Hey, I'm glad you know your stuff, lad. <laughs> Talk well, I'm eh? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the one, that, one of my favourite memories is doing the Matterhorn on our honeymoon. 1960. 1960. I took Sue up the Matterhorn and she, she had a pair of jeans on. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say not much else, but <laughs> there was not much else from technical kit. Um, but yeah, we did. We had one pair of crampons between us, so Colin was the lead, so he had the crampons. <laughs> and we didn't, we didn't have a camera because it was a choice before we went. A tent, an Andre Jamé tent, or a camera. So the, the tent won. <laughs> <laughs> what was said to me, Rob, by the powers that be, was to do what you can now because uh, you might not be able to do it in the, in the next year. To be on the rock and feeling handholds again <laughs> and with great company it's just a treat of a lifetime really it certainly goes down as one of my really fond memories i didn't think there was any more left <laughs> they keep coming the only thing missing is the hot sun my god there you go you're on Oh, I suppose well done. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bryn. Yeah. Thank you so much. Brilliant. There you go. It's all a bit traditional. <laughs> yes. These, these modern things. <laughs> I know it's a bad thing to say, but I would, I would have felt a bit of a knob with it. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for another quotation, Rob? <laughs> Only a hill. But all of life to me 
up there between the sunset and the sea. <laughs> For me, uh, Colin Goody, enjoying climbing on the slab at Little Truven, uh, just fantastic.